is Mal, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Our Generation Boathouse. This has honestly been on my wish list since it came out, okay? I'm really excited to, like, open it, and I'm really excited for, like, the dolls to have it, and I'm just, you know, really... So if you pay attention to, like, the background, I'm currently getting the dolls dressed and decorated, the dollhouse decorated for Christmas, so it's, like, in this, like, awkward stage of, like, dressed and not dressed and decorated and not decorated. I usually don't like to film videos when I'm doing that, but, you know, I just couldn't wait to get this open and added the box. Let's get started! Here's what the butt house looks without it being decorated. And a quick thing that I would like to mention about the butt house is that it does come with a instruction manual. I think we should start from outside the boat house. So outside of the boat house, what is, oh, we have the door. And a fun fact about this door, you cannot open this door if it's like this. You have to twist the handle and open it. So I think that's really cute that it's really, you know, it's like a real door. And on the window, there's actually a little bug on it. Then we'll move on to this side. As you can see, there is um, that. This keeps moving. Every time you, like, just touch it, that just moves. And it's really annoying. It's, like, driving me insane. And the windows, you have, I don't know how many they are. I'm not in math class right now, so I'm not going to count. I don't know if this is just for shipping or, like, whatever. I mean, like, they are dusty. The windows that I noticed and some things in the boathouse are dusty. Um, so, and that just happened when I picked it up from the shelf. So, um... You know, some of the roofs and stuff is dusty, so I don't know if it's, like, shipping. But Here is the last side of the boathouse. It has a little porthole window on it. And Moving on top of the boathouse, you have the roof. So you have um, buttons up here. You have different sound effects. So for this one, you have crickets. You have seagulls. This is the ways. And the last one is the storm. You also have a projector, so if you hit the middle button, it comes on and lights up. You can't really see um, what it does on the walls in the doll room because it's currently daylight outside. But yeah, you have different colors. You have green, or you can see it on my finger kind of. Orange, might look a little bit like yellowy on camera. Red, and then that's it. Green, orange, and red. Now moving inside of the beach house. So on this side you have the door, we touch spaces on the door of how it opens and how it closes and stuff like that. These are two little hooks that you can hang bags, um, jackets, life jackets, you know, whatever you want to hang, you can hang this on. So moving on to the bed. So back behind here is your batteries. This is where your batteries go. This is a switch. So you flip it all the way there to turn it off. You have training mode, play, and then night light. I usually put it on play mode because, you know, I'm playing with this. This is a review, girl. To fold the bed back up into the couch position, you just kind of, like, do that. And then, like that. Moving on into the kitchen area, you have this lovely countertop. And it can hold pretty much about anything. And I honestly love that. That it's, like, so, like, it's an island. You can maybe pull up some bar stools, you know. It's honestly so gorgeous. Over here you have some wonderful shelves, and I love that it includes some shelves and some extra storage space to store some of the accessories that the boat has come with, and maybe some of your own accessories that you want to add to the set when you're decorating it all up. Moving on to the fridge, once you open the fridge, you have these lovely little shelves, but you have these up here to hold your little bottles, so like your milk bottles, your soda cans maybe, and then here you can just add some like eggs, maybe some food, and then you have another little um, shelf in there to hold hold some milk bottles, soda bottles, um, some, I mean, I, whatever else comes in bottles. 
put down there. Then you actually have two ovens, which I find that really cool. And once again, this does have a shelf in it and it cannot come out, sadly. And then here's the top one, just like the bottom one. I think it's really cool that they incorporated two, button, two, two buttons. Yeah, there's totally two buttons. I think that it's totally cool that our generation incorporated two ovens in this set because I don't have like anything that has two ovens in it and I think anyways I think it's cool it's really fancier than my house my house doesn't have two ovens anyways okay so if you turn the two burner knobs it makes a little s noise If you turn if you turn it this one and that one it makes a little tick 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 noise a little timer noise Here are the burners. If you press one of them, the heart will light up. And then if you press the other, it will do the same. Moving on to the sink. This could move around. This can also come out if you need to do some washing over there or whatever you need to wash, you can. You can also, this turn so you can have the water on or off. The most coolest detail about the sink, in my opinion, is that if you press on the little, if you press down here, it makes a carpet just on noise. Then in the boathouse, we also have two more shelves, so if your drawers want to ex to display something, maybe some of their decor pieces, maybe some of their ingredients that they use to cook with, they can do so. Over here is a big long window along with the little sail away thingy and which can actually come off. Now this thingy reminds me of the Parent Trap movie. If you guys ever seen like the newest Disney movie, not the newest, it's not the newest, but the newest Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan in it, like as a twin, and like the mom and dad are on the boat and they have that like hanging up kind of. It reminds me of that, okay? And the boat scene, I don't know. If, I don't know. Probably no one has seen it, and I'm just a weird one, but anyways. And then these little thingies here actually hold the little, um, oars or whatever they're called. There's also a light inside of the boathouse. If you just press the little blue button, it turns on the light inside the boathouse. Now moving on to the accessories and furniture pieces that you get with the boathouse. First food item that you get in the set is um, is a lobster dish. And this is like very detailed. No, this cannot come off the plate. I was a little disappointed about that. But at the same time, I can kind of understand. You know, you know. Next, the next seafood dish that you get is some crab legs. Once again, this cannot come off the plate. Next, we have some clam chowder soup. This can actually come off the plate, but stuff in here cannot, you know, come out. So, yeah. The last couple pieces of food items that you get is some scrambled eggs. A, I think this is called an a, a upside down cake, if I'm correct but there is one piece that can come out of it and honestly this is so detailed I think this might be one of my favorite pieces in the set and you just stick it in like that for this you can take it off of this so if you want to use a different if you want to use this for when your doll is baking something else you can do so next you get a bowl of salad and this cannot come off the bowl now moving on to the drinks, we have the tea kettle, and the tea kettle can actually make noise. Now a weird thing that I noticed about the tea kettle is that it has like something on it. Like I think this is like just glue, but I found that really weird that it has something on it. I never had that before. Anyways. And then we have a bottle of, I'm going to call this some soda, because, you know, our dolls drink soda. This is kind of, the cap is kind of, like, lopsided. Once again, I'm being, like, really picky, because our generation is such a great brand, and I'm being, like, really picky. So, yeah, I think that's just a problem with, like, gluing it or whatever. I don't know if you guys can see, but, like, it's, like, one's, one side's up here and then one side's up here. I don't know. Maybe it's just, I feel like it's, like, lopsided. 
but yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. So you have a bottle of milk, which I found this to be really cute, and there's an actually an OG, um, actually says OG on it on right here. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's like really like light in this room, but I thought it was really cute. And yeah, I don't actually have like little bottles of milks for my dolls, and so when that when so now I do, and it's like really cute, and I want more of them. Next, you have a pitcher of pink lemonade, which I think is super duper cute, and you also get two glasses of pink lemonade. These glasses are really detailed because they have little ice cubes in them, so they're cold and fresh. Here's the second one, and I love the little lemon sticking out of it for both of them. They're like really cute. And I love them very much. Next we have a couple of things to put on your food. We have some salt and pepper shakers. And here's the salt close up. I absolutely love the salt because there's, and you can like, if you shake it, there's, it like moves around and stuff. This is the pepper. There's like a weird like thing going on in the back, I noticed. I don't know really what it is and the salt isn't like that at all I don't know I don't really know if it's like a problem with the manufacturer I don't I don't know anyways next you have some apple cider which I absolutely love that it comes in this little thing and I love that there's a little label kind of on it so you know oh that's apple cider and you don't confuse it with anything else and then you have some olive oil me and the dolls are obsessed with olive oil especially me so i'm really excited that i have that for my dolls some dishes for the food um so i forgot to include in the drinks that you also get two teacups i don't know where the other one is it's like apparently not wanting to be on camera because I can't find it right now. <laughs> the tea, which is really cute. They also have included some uh, like tea like this in a, a past couple of other of uh, sets, a past um and sets in the past. So yeah, my doubles love tea, don't they? Next, you have some two clear little plates. So if you wanted to be really fancy and put some tea cups or maybe some food on the clear little plates so you can do so. Next you have these two little plates. I absolutely love the design on the plates. They're really cute. They're like really really cute. Next we have these two little bowls and these bowls like they look like they would be in like a modern house and like and especially at a beach house since they have some little le yellow down there and I think they're really cute. So yeah. Next we have some pots and pans and some and a couple of plates. This is a pot to cook some soup if you are feeling it or maybe something like, I don't know, maybe you can cook some macaroni and cheese in here, maybe some little pasta, you know, whatever your doll's heart is feeling, you can do it or she can do it or he can do it. Next we have a couple of plates. Now these are bigger than the smaller plates that I showed you and I absolutely love that they incorporated and included some um, bigger plates in the set because you know if your doll is cooking something in the fantastic oven that she can't or he cannot fit in the plates then you know don't worry our generation has got your doll. Next we have a pan. Now this pan you can cook um, some things that you wouldn't be able to cook in that one. And I absolutely love the little details that this has. It's super duper cute and I love that it has a little thing need to go on it. Moving on to the silverware in the set. You get two little forks and I absolutely love that they... And of course, like, you have to have a fork to eat something, you know, unless you're, like, scared of forks. Here's some spoons. They incorporated two little spoons. I love how they included um, silverware in the set because it does come with food. Instead of, you know, buying another one of their sets that has silverware in it, you don't need to unless you want to, which is awesome. Here's some, and it also comes with two little knives. Here is the last couple few silver pieces that you get with this set. You have this little, like, spoon thingy to cook with or mix with this, um, some soup that your dog cooks or something else that involves this, like, a little soup spoon like that. Next you have 
a little spatula so if you're making cookies you can get them off the pan or if you need to flip something with the spatula that you're cooking you can do so here are the little two little salad silverwares you have the fork for the salad and the spoon for the salad which is really cute that they included that in the set and I love the pink on it I think that's so cute Next we have some more things that you get with this set. So this is a little cleaner to clean the bigger pots and pans and some plates and some bowls. Next we have some dishware soap. So I love that they included that. Next we have the oven mitts. Now this is used to put on your doll's hand to get something hot out of the oven or maybe something hot out of the microwave. This set doesn't include the microwave so you can't do that. These are some cute little boat oars, and I absolutely love that they included boat oars in this set because it just adds some character to the beach house. And I also love how they did some little designs on them as well, which adds a cute little touch to it. Next we have some items to put on the fold-out bed, sofa, whatever you want to call it. You have this little cover on it, which I think is really cute, and I love the color of it. And then you also have some pillows, and I honestly think it's such a good idea to include pillows with this. Instead of having to look plain, it actually gives some character to, the, to your beach house. Next you have this cute little table. This table is actually really detailed. See, it looks like wood, and I absolutely love that. Our generation knows how to put the little details in everything, and I absolutely love that. Now we are going to be setting up the beach house. that were off for me in this set, like the materials that the boathouse was made of. Um, it's just like the ice cream cart material. I'm not, I don't, I'm, 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 I'm you know, I don't know. I don't know if they could have made this set, um, I don't know. I think it's kind of annoying when you like just touch it or like, and like, not moves and stuff. Um, so I don't know how I feel about that. I might take that down because it's kind of annoying. Um, and I also didn't like how the glue was on the teapot. I don't know. I think that's something that they could have like... I don't know. I think that's something that they could have prevent from happening. But I don't own my own doll company so I don't know about that. Um, so yeah, that was the things that I kind of did. My wishes for this set was one, that there wasn't no glue on the teapot handle. And two, I also wish that they incorporated some napkins in this set. I think some napkins and a little towel to hang over the oven would be a, such a cute little detail, in my opinion. And I also wish they had some bed, some bedding included, you know, some blankets. But other than that, I think it's really cute and I recommend it because it's such a cute little set. 
Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post new videos every single Sunday. Comment down below if you have this boat house or if you have another Art Generation set that you are in love with. Let me know all that down below in the comment section. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!